Hello, hello, hello. Everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do loves. Okay, babies. So we're going to jump into this Pisces read. Cross watchers, non-Pisces, you're more than welcome. It is general and timeless. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Please don't try to force it to fit. What's going on for my Pisces at this time? What are we talking about for the Pisces? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, honeys, I love this. Okay, so we could be talking about your finances at this time. This could be some type of love, some money coming in. This is the rags, the richest card here. Um, this could also be talking about a love connection. Someone could want to marry you, the end all be all. Um, this could be a same sex connection, doesn't have to be. Um, but this is somebody who sees you guys as a power couple, having generational wealth. Someone may have dogs here. I do feel like your ancestors are working in the background here um, to help you with this situation. I would say, um, because her eyes are bloodshot red, somebody may smoke. But this is the 420 deck, so every card is going to have marijuana or <laughs> their eyes going to look red. Yeah, but this has to do with a love situation. So there is someone here who wants a full-time commitment with you. Something long-term and committed here, Pisces. They want to come in and have teamwork with you. Somebody might smoke out of a ball, a bomb too. But this person's this person's emotions and feelings are overflowing when it comes to you. They want to come and pour their emotions out to you. What if I just ten of pentacles for Pisces? What's the ten of pentacles about when it comes to Pisces? What are we talking about here? Okay, so there could be somebody's family who didn't want them to give you an offer. So there's someone here who wants to give you an offer, but their family didn't want them to give you this offer. They now feel betrayed by their family. So there's someone here who saw you as someone they could build with. Someone they saw, they saw you as this power couple. Like I said, they saw you as their end all be all. Um, possibly feel like you guys could build a family together, build businesses together. There could have been a mother or a grandmother or an older feminine energy in the background that did not want this person to give you this offer. Could have been somebody's baby's mother here that didn't want them to give you this offer. And your person, like I said, feels betrayed. They feel stabbed in the back by this family member or family members. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Pisces energy. Yeah, there was a tower. So some shit went down inside this house, baby. The shit hit the fan in this house. So somebody found out they were betrayed by some family members here. Somebody who wanted to come in and make you a part of their family. I feel like they wanted something long-term and committed with you. And these family members did not want this person to give you this offer. And now this person has found out that their, their family betrayed them. She just hit the fan. Yeah, your person is sitting in hermit mode right now. They may be sitting in the dark. They in a room in the dark. They are stressed out. Because they never thought that these family members would do this. So whoever this is that has done this to them. Yeah, they're the Queen of Cups. Pisces Energy. This could be an ex, a queen of swords. Could be a mother. But I feel like it was a choice between this queen of cups and this queen of swords. And this queen of swords did not want this person to give you this offer. And now your person is sitting at home in the dark. No light. They may be smoking. That's all you can see is, is the little joint and the red part of the joint that's lit. 
So if they smoke, remember this is the 420 deck, y'all. So all the cards are gonna be talking about smoking. They don't necessarily have to smoke, but they could be sitting in their in their room in the dark, um, focused on this betrayal from these family members or family member. And they're thinking about you here, Pisces. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles here. Pisces energy. Hair fine. So this could be someone that we're married to or in a committed relationship with. I feel like they also, if they were not married or committed, this is what they wanted to do with you. They wanted to marry you. They wanted to give you this commitment here, right? Um, but they went through some type of spiritual awakening. They got some type of truth about this family member, once again, not wanting you to have this offer. Not wanting them, wanting them to marry you. Not wanting him to build with you. So they cause some type of illusion. Could be three people in this family. They cause some type of illusion. They could have lied on you. So this person wouldn't give you the offer. So this person wouldn't marry you or give you a long-term committed relationship. And now this person has found out the truth. They see through the illusion here. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So now this person is it came out crossing. This person is is coming towards you, or they will be coming towards you very soon here, um, with some type of honest communication. Somebody could have told them about this betrayal, and now they found out the truth about why this person did not want you to have this offer. But I really feel like this person is coming towards you to tell you the truth. About everything that went down with this family situation. Yeah, they're stressed. Nine of swords. They're stressed the fuck out here. They're not eating. They're not sleeping. They're sitting in the dark. They're just sitting in a dark room. They're not opening the curtains. They may not be going to work. Um, I really feel like this person is really depressed right now. Because of what these family members have done or said. To block or stop this connection. Clarify the tower. Pisces energy. Yeah, so this person, these three people are under judgment. It's three people here. These three people are under judgment. And for sure, two of these people then got put up out this house. Or they're fit to be under judgment because it did come out crossing as well. So for some of you guys, this is already taking place. For others, this is what's to come. They're fit to find out that these so-called family members um, had them under this illusion. They lied on you. Clarify the hermit. Yeah. So this person is now sitting by themselves. Thinking about the passion and new beginning that you guys could have. Thinking about the passion and new beginning you guys should have had in the past. They also want to come in. And they could be probably trying to figure out how to come in to offer you this new passionate beginning as well. They could be going through this dark night of the soul. Yeah, they now want to come in and put the work in here. They want to work on a connection with you because they now realize that they were betrayed. There will be some communication coming in. If you're going to travel towards you here, reach out with some type of quick communication. Um, they may want to take you on some type of trip or vacation as well. So this person is coming back towards you with some enthusiastic news. They're hoping, they're hoping for a good, a good outcome here. Yeah. Because they want to come in and work on it. They're hoping you want to work on it too. Can't find a page of wands. Yeah, they want to come back, baby. Six of cups. And they want to come back and present you with some type of gift or offer. They're enthusiastic about coming back towards you. Because they see the truth about these family members not wanting you to be in the family. Yeah, this is coming in very quickly, baby. They're going to eight of wands again. They, they're coming back back towards you very happily, wanting this passionate new beginning. Yeah, they're a little stressed, but they are coming back in this King of Cups energy. 
ready to hand you that cup of love. They may be broke down a little bit. They may have been through a lot with these family members. But they're coming to put their heart on their sleeve and bring you a bowl. <laughs> I'll just play it. You have to help them for the sun. <laughs> um, they're hoping for a yes. The sun is, I'm just laughing because the sun is smoking. The sun is beating. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Um, They could have been dealing with a baby's mother or baby's father. Um, They could have been in another marriage with this person. They could have had to leave a situation in the marriage, in the connection. Um, but for a lot of you guys, I just feel like it was their family members that didn't want them to come give you this marriage, to come give you this commitment. Because this is what they wanted with you. They wanted the hair font and the ten of pentacles. They wanted the marriage and the long-term committed relationship. They felt like you guys were a power couple. You could build anything, make anything. But whoever this person in the background could be a mother, a father, um, an older person here, did not want you to be a part of their family for whatever reason. And I feel like them and two other people collaborated to come up with some type of illusion or lie here so this person would not bring you the offer. The truth has come out about this illusion and the tower moment has set inside of this household, in this family dynamic. And now your person is sitting by themselves. Okay? The people that lied on you are now under judgment. They could be facing karma. Because your person is up out of there and they're headed back towards you. Look, this person is headed. This is the house here. They're headed back towards you. This is you over here. They want to come give you the connection, the commitment. They're headed back towards this Ten of Pentacles with you. Six of Cups coming back. Expect the communication. Expect them to travel towards you. If there's a distance, they're coming out of this distance. Anything else from this particular deck here for this read for Pisces? Anything else? Okay, so that's it. Let me see what this one is. Huh? That Eight of Wands, it keep it wasn't leaving. It, it left the bottom. The Eight of Wands left the bottom so the Ace of Cups could get back on the bottom. So they're coming towards you to offer you this cup of love, honeys. They're coming towards you to pour out this, this love to you. Because whoever this is loves you. They just was listening to whoever these family members is. Possibly a mother. They were stressed out. But they're stressed out about returning. But they are finding the strength to come towards you. Bless you. This deck. This deck. No, not this one. Which deck? Hold on, y'all, because they—I I don't know which deck to use. This one. Huh? I can't make this shit up. Whole different deck. Eight of Wands. There is communication coming. Rapid change, a domino effect. Um, it's a letter here, but I feel like it's going to be a text message, um, a DM, something, a phone call. But it's coming. Yep, and there go that judgment again as well. This person has went through an awakening, self-evaluation. They want your forgiveness. They're hoping that you forgive them and you guys can have this passionate new beginning. But they headed back to you, babies. Okay, so let's see if we can get some more Pisces energy. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for my Pisces. I do need to jump Holy Spirit. King of Coins. So we got this King of, King of Coins, this husband, this father energy here. Someone who's grounded, successful. Someone who possibly owns a business empire. But this person wanted to bring you stability. I'm telling you, this person wanted to marry you. If they were already in a marriage, they wanted to leave that other connection to come towards you. But I feel like they wanted to be your husband. Towards Virgo Capricorn energy here. Or they wanted to be your wife. They wanted you to be their husband. Take it how it fits for you. But these people did not want them to give you this offer. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you. Ace of Swords. So now they want to come in and speak their truth. There was a breakthrough. They realized the truth about these people who did not want you to want you to have the offer. About these family members who did not want them to come and marry you, commit to you. Clarify the tower moment. I mean the tower. Pisces energy. 
eight of coins. They realized that these people were only holding on to them for finances. They didn't want them to come towards you because of money. They didn't want this person to achieve their goals with you. And this is where the betrayal comes in. They found out the betrayal. Clarify the hermit. The sun. So this person is now in hermit mode. They're sitting in the darkness, but the sun is going to come and light their, their, their way, okay? Um, this person is hoping for success. They're trying to remain optimistic, and they're hoping that you're open to a passionate new beginning. But everything done in the dark has now come to the light. Clarify the hair font, Pisces energy here. There go the tower. And it did come out in reverse. I flipped it over to read it. So these family members here try to keep your person from moving forward. It says fear of change, avoiding the inevitable, liberation. So your person finally got liberation. They didn't want this person to be liberated. They didn't want this person to leave. They were going to lose the money. Right? Because this, this King of Pentacles was taking care of this family situation. They were afraid of change. They were afraid that this person was going to change if they allowed you into their family situation. And they didn't want that. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Pisces energy. So somebody's family did not want you or they didn't want this person to give you a commitment or have you into the family situation because of the fact that they thought this person was going to change because of you. Stop giving to them. Stop taking care of them because of you. Now your person's coming back toward you with this quick, honest communication. Fearless. A free spirit. Ready to move forward. Taking this risk. Hoping that you guys can persevere. Nine of Wands. Okay, they were drained by these family members, but they're resilient and they're pushing through and they want to come talk to you about it. Clarify judgment, Pisces energy, all of those. So this person wants to come and apologize. Okay, um, they're going to come in leading with their heart. So I do feel like it's going to be an honest apology here. They're coming with this cup of love because they want to hold on to you. Okay, um, they now realize that these family members were trying to hold on to them, hoard the money, keep them for security and materialism. And this is another reason why they want to apologize. Because they treated you this way because of the family. They listened to their family. They thought they were doing right. They were never trying to hurt you. They were just trying to do right by their family. And now they realize that the family caused this illusion. This family lied on you so that they would not give you this offer is three people. So now they want to move away from the conflict, Six of Swords, with this family. And they want to head back towards peace with you. They want to go to calm waters, move ahead, heal. This person has a lot of regret. They really did not want to lose you here. Now, these family members who are under judgment, because they've gotten caught up, they're focused on the loss. They didn't want this to happen. It was an unwelcome change. Now they're in this victim mentality, feeling like they're traumatized because your person or this person is coming towards you is no longer given to them. They didn't drop the tower on this queen of coins. So this could have been a wife. This could have been their mother. Because it says mature, successful, practical. This could also be you. Okay? You could be the queen of coins to their king of coins. Their soulmate. And they want to apologize. They have a lot of regret for listening to these family members. And you're their soulmate. Clarify Ace of Wands. Yeah, Page of Coins. So now they want to come towards you. Um, with a passion new beginning. There may be an age difference between you people. Between you people. 
between you and your person. Um, it says young but grounded, a solid beginning, strong foundation. If there is an age difference, they are very grounded. If you are the younger of the two, they find you very grounded. But they want a solid beginning. They want to start a strong foundation with you here. Clarify the page of wands and the six of cups. They are closing out a cycle with these family members. Completion, wholeness, end of a cycle. Because they want a new beginning with you. And they're ecstatic about having this new beginning. They're excited about coming to give you this ace of cups. This love, a new relationship. They're coming in with pure intentions and joy, baby. This Knight of Swords is coming in with honest communication. Same card. They're going to be assertive. They may be a little impulsive when they come towards you. But they no longer want to be left out in the cold. Five of coins. Six of coins. Now they want equal give and take. With the seven of coins right behind it. This is four moving. Five, six, seven of coins. They're making the changes so that they can have an equal give and take. They're done with the delays. They're trying to manifest you back into this connection. They're being persistent and hard work pays off. Eight of Wands again. Somebody want to talk to you for hours and hours. It's the remix. Money Long and Usher. Laying on your chest for hours. Yeah, this person wants romance. Cooper Arrow stri strikes. They're in love. They also want balance. Love is not always about agreeing for just the sake of it. But a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So this could be a great um, connection. It was just some challenges that you guys had to get through here. And, I, and it, it had to do with three people in this person's family situation. So it could be someone they consider family. It could be an actual you know, family members. Mama, daddy, sister, brother. Baby mama, baby daddy. But it's three people. It could be a homeboy, homegirl, and some family members. But it was three people that did everything they could to keep this person from giving you this offer. But it was by lying on you. It was by causing illusions. And your person now realizes that they were betrayed by these people. And this is why this tower moment has went down. So I'm going to see if I need you some advice. Well, you need to know I'm in a reading. Get out. Thank you. Um... Get you guys some advice for this connection. Pisces. So it says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's your advice. You already know how you feel about this person. You already know you still want this connection. And if you don't want a connection... Then this ain't for you. No need to comment. Please don't do that because I don't want to go into a whole other tangent. Just went into one on the last read. Spirit says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this is your person actually here telling you to look deep in your heart. And you will feel your person's love. Their love for you is as deep as the ocean. Ooh. I don't know why they keep hitting the floor. Hmm. So I just heard stormy weather. Um, somebody may feel like it's stormy weather going on. You may want to listen to that song too. Now I can't even get the beat. It was just in my head when I went down. I was seeing it. Now I lost it. But somebody said they don't know why. Um... The sun ain't in the sky. It's stormy weathers right now. If somebody is unhappy. They're missing you. They do want to come back. To, oh, that could be these family members. That's in that stormy weather energy. Ain't no sun up in the sky. It's stormy weather. Because your person has pulled their energy back. Your person was giving them the money. Working hard on, you know, trying to keep this family balanced. And making sure their family was okay. Which is nothing wrong with that. But I feel like these family was taking advantage of your person. And they didn't want to lose out or miss out 
on what this person was giving to them because um they knew if this person hooked up with you married you got into a long-term committed relationship with you things were going to change so now your person wants to come back in this playfulness um our spirit has said that you need to be in this playfulness energy when they return laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer so when this person comes back go have some fun get out laugh enjoy each other's company because the truth of it all is you both miss each other you both miss hanging out with each other you both miss each other's company you miss the way this person make you laugh this person misses the way you make them laugh Spirit also says, beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess. But equally so, the qualities you do not like are also your own reflection. So the things that you love about this person, they're a part of you as well. But the things you don't like about this person, the things that piss you off, the things that trigger you, the things you say you can't stand about this person are also the same things within you. You have them same characteristics. So you need to heal those within yourself. Okay? And as you heal, your person will heal. Any other advice from my Pisces when it comes to this particular read? Spirit says the past is now behind you. So whatever happened in the past, leave it there. If you cannot leave it in the past, there's no need to go back to this connection. Because you're going to fall right back into the old cycles. But if you want this person, whatever y'all went through in the past, leave that shit in the past, start anew. You ain't got to run and jump into nothing. Take your time. Go with the flow. But get reacquainted. Enjoy the reacquaintedness. That time. Don't worry about the end. Don't worry about if it's going to last forever. Stop worrying about the end. Because tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Worry about here and now and just go with the flow. Don't just let this person walk right back into your life. Allow this person to show you that with you is where they want to be. But the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So you've been asking God to send your person back. You've been asking for this certain type of love. It's coming. But don't get caught up in what happened in the past and miss out on your blessing. There is a new path available to you. Trust, have faith that God will not leave you nor forsake you. Because there is a new beginning here for you, babies. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So embrace this new beginning and live it passionately. Enjoy this person's company, the friendship. Enjoy the bonding moments and go with the flow. I heard one more. We'll get one more for you guys. This was from your person. It says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this person wants you to know that even though you are not together right now, physically, spiritually, you guys are always together. They're tele telepathically sending you messages through music, through songs through um angel numbers you may see their names places you guys being may pop up but they're constantly in your energy i heard one more i thought that was the last one but i heard one more so i'm gonna pull one more and then we'll pull some zodiac signs no i'm uh, i said no i wasn't taking all those they said yes you are okay so i guess they meant one more shuffle and not one more card so we did one more shuffle and put these down because i'm not pulling no more i'll read these final five and I'll post all the X signs for you guys. So it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So if you want this connection, know that it's going to change. It's about to deepen. And all you have to do is leave with love. That's it. Let everything else go. Just leave with love. Love conquers all. But that means you have to let go of your insecurities. You have to let go of your fears as well. You have to be able to be vulnerable in this situation or don't do it. And that's with anybody. Spirit says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. 
So let go of that negative ass energy. I don't want this person. They not gonna do right. I'm scared they gonna hurt me again. I'm this, I'm that. I let that shit go. Let it dissolve into light so you can create room for a new opportunity and possibilities. Because you keep saying you want it, but then you, well, some of you are saying you want it. Others, you keep denying that you still want it. And you really do want it. Spirit says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So remember... Why you guys are so worried about material things and all this other shit? The only thing you can take with you when you leave is your soul and the memories of the love you share with those around you. So make the best memories ever. Love. Live. Heal. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. You want it? Act like it. Instead of talking about everything that went wrong, everything they did in the past, instead of dwelling on all that, start speaking love and life into your relationship. Surround you and this person with light. Send them love so they can heal, so they can do the work, so they can raise their vibration. Feel your relationship being healed. So when it comes back, it is. And the final card that popped out was Secret Admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. This person loves you. They just couldn't let you in because they were listening to these family members. And if you're mad because somebody listened to their mama or their daddy, you a fool. Because you listen to your mama and your daddy as well. You feel like your mama your daddy... The people that raised you closest to you have your best interest at heart. And this person thought they had they had his or her best interest at heart. This is why they followed what these people said. It wasn't a you against them. It was, you know, my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, this person. They've been around me. I feel like they give me good advice. I thought they thought these people had their best interest. Until they found out it was a betrayal. And that fucked them up. Because they lost somebody that they loved. They pushed somebody that they truly did love away. Because they, they believe these people. They believe what these people said about you. But they thought these people, you know, were speaking out of love for them. And not out of this materialistic, low vibrational 3D energy. Just wanting what they could get. Not wanting to lose they, they breadwinner. And this person went through a lot in that house. It was a tower moment there. People left this house. People are no longer living in this household. This could be your person leaving. If they these people live with your person, they could have put these people out. If they were living with these people, they could be about to move out and get their own shit. But this person trusted... The advice of whoever these family members were. Whether it's people they consider family or was real actual live family. And now they see the truth and they coming back for you babies. And ain't nothing finna stop them. Could be a cancer. Who is this Pisces read for about? Could be a Leo. Who is this Pisces read for about? What is this Pisces read for or about? So all water is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who is this? Huh? Pisces read for or about? I would say, I would say water. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Aquarius. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Libra. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Aries. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Who is this Pisces read for or about? Gemini. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Who is this Pisces read for or about? We have Sagittarius. Final card. Who is this Pisces read for or about? Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio. So water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.